you've made your way back to Progressively Older. Welcome back to Progressively Older. I'm Link. I'm the host here. Progressively Older is the channel you go to when you're getting older and planning on staying progressive all along the way. Today, I have my vaccine, the first of two doses of the Pfizer vaccine, and we're going to talk about that before we do. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. Like the video. If you're listening to it on a podcast, like that too, and leave a review at uh, Apple Podcasts. All of this will help me grow the channel. I need your help. Give a guy a break, will ya? Okay. So on Wednesdays, we talk about politics and staying progressive. And on Fridays, we talk about getting older. Well, vaccines are about getting older, so it must be Friday. So today I'm going to get my first vaccine shot from Pfizer. And I've had a tremendous amount of anxiety about this. I don't do needles well. This is not my forte. I have a, I don't like them. I just don't like them. So... Anyway, what I thought I would do, if you feel somewhat the same way, is take you with me and you could share the experience with me and see what it was all about. So if you've got some anxiety about uh, going and getting your shot, maybe taking a look at what I went through, maybe it'll help you. So let's get in the car. It's time to go get a shot. So it's vaccination day finally has arrived. I uh, made my appointment, I don't know, two, th two weeks ago or so. But it has finally come. Uh, my goal in this uh, transaction with the medical world is for me to not cry and whine when I get my, I keep watching all of these videos of people getting their vaccination and you watch their faces as the needle goes in and you can't really even tell that anything has happened. It's like they don't even notice. That's not me. I am needle shy to say the very, very, very least. So I don't know if you saw Rachel Maddow talking about, uh, about getting hers and I'm the same way I just freak out over needles we'll see it was uh, so this this is going to be my challenge to myself see if I can keep my keep my game face when I when I have the shot we'll see if I can do it um, but millions of folks have had this now this is good it's getting across the country and it's becoming uh, widespread. The by the end of the summer, we should have most of us kind of taken care of, which would be a great thing. But I'm a frontline worker in a in a very busy retail operation. I see lots and lots of people on a daily basis, and so this has been a lot of stress for me being out in the public constantly um, so this is I'm looking forward to having some semblance of protection I guess it'll be a couple of weeks for this is a two shot process for me today this is the first of two so I'll get to do this again I'll look forward to that but anyway, my sister is 69 years old. She just turned 69 in March. And she just had her first vaccine shot. And she felt lousy afterwards. Didn't last, you know, it was a, it was a temporary thing, but she did feel bad. And I've got a 12 hour work shift tomorrow almost 11 something like that long day and I'm a little concerned about that I have to when I get home from this appointment I have to put this video together for you so I'm hoping I hold up okay because I got a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it 
so we'll see how that goes. Well, I've arrived. This is uh, the line as I <laughs> make my way to the back of it. I was sitting in my car, it didn't seem that long, and I guess while I was busy, it grew. So, oh well. So it goes. I think I'm going to be here a little while. The line has moved incredibly quickly. It's just cut by two-thirds in no time at all. So this may not take quite as long as I would feared. So far, so good. Hello. We're in. Getting to the next, the next spot. We're the next group. Here we go. All of that. Come forward. Hi, how are you, sir? Good. Stand behind station two. When she's done, Thank it's you. your turn. You betcha. Stand behind We're now standing behind station two. Number nine cone on the left. Okay. Wait at the cone, you'll be next. Thank you. I'm going to the number nine cone. Number nine. Number nine. You do very well. Sorry. It's my turn. Hey. I'm going to need to get up here on your arm if yep. you'll go ahead and get that out for me. I shall. Some patients experience some mild side effects with their first vaccine. That can include low-grade fever, nausea, chills, soreness at the injection site, fatigue. You're going to be relaxing this arm all the way down at your side and I'll hold your shirt for you so you have your right hand free. If you experience those side effects, they can generally last up to two days. If you'd like to, during that time, you can take Tylenol or Ibuprofen, okay? okay. Do you have any questions before I vaccinate you, Mr. I Eaton? Do not. Wonderful. I'll hold your shirt. Relax this arm completely. The more relaxed you are, the less sore you will hopefully be this evening. You got everything that you need on the camera lens? Yeah. Okay. You are all done. You're going to be monitored in our monitoring area for 15 minutes, which will take you to 1039. All right. I'll write your card up for you, and then we'll get you over there. You During that time, someone in a yellow vest will approach you and sign you up for your second shot, okay? Keep this card, put it in your wallet, take a picture of it, and bring it back with you to your second appointment. The picture's just in case you lose it, okay? Got it. Mr. Eaton, you're going to get up and walk all the way around over here by the yellow vest in the tent and have a seat, and they will sign you up for your second vaccine, okay? Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Have a great day. I am deeply... Deeply embarrassed because I didn't even feel it. I didn't know she had done it. I just wow. That was amazing. Now we'll see if we feel bad later on, but alright, that's next. I can have your car. Just gonna hang out for a while. I am going to write it on the back. And We're hopefully email momentarily. I'll feel fine. Have you been through this already? If you have, leave me a comment down below. Tell me how. Tell me what your experience was like. This is very, very efficient. And a little big brotherish, but in fact, almost unavoidable with the number of people that were trying to get through this process. All right. Um, Perfect. Definitely feel like you Put it on your knee. Then we will you know, know that you and being scheduled, and at 10.41, you can head out the door. Right okay. It's a necessary evil. All right, I'm going to run but up and get our clipboard. So far, that was incredible. That, I, I felt nothing with that shot. I really, I still feel like I, I'm pretty sure they did it, and maybe the needle was broken and didn't go in. It was that, that it was that. Uninvasive. I just really didn't feel a dang thing from the stick. So now I don't think all those people in the videos are brave. I just think they didn't feel it either. <laughs> anyway, now we wait. I'm about halfway through my waiting period, and so far so good. Don't have any 
don't feel anything yet. I'm praying that the uh, that the effects of the shot don't land on me. I'm just I've got too much to do. I got I'm too busy to be feeling bad, but I have been released. I can go on my merry way according to the powers that be. So I'm heading back into the world. Um, hopefully. It won't be premature. I don't have oh we got some We've got some, we've got somebody somebody greeting us. to get your spirits back up when you come back out and maybe your arm is hurting. Mine is not. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. That beats what's going on in your head, right? After you come out of a place like that. The army has been here directing traffic and getting people moving along. All right, back to the car. And my job here is done. Back in the car and I still feel fine. So far so good. No ill effects yet. So that's a plus. This really is, uh, um, you know, I'm laughing, but it really is kind of a military operation. It's very much like going through AFES, if any of you have ever done that. That's the indoctrination uh, into going into the military when you first go there for your physical and for your testing and your... Uh, psychological and intellectual testing all of it it's uh, it was very similar it was just boom 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 you're it's nothing personal about it the, the nurse was very personable when she did it but it was all business and it was it went right along a track so nothing wrong with that um, it was very efficient and they were they were kind and nice in the process, but it was it was business and let's get them in and get them out. And you were herded herded through it. Well, that wasn't bad. It really wasn't. I'm really kind of surprised at how easy it all was. And it was kind of 1984. There was a sort of an Orwell feel about it of us walking through and just. But that aside, uh, it, it's really the only way to do it. There's so many of us, and we have to get through it, and we have to do it quickly, and we have to do it efficiently, and that's exactly what they did, and they did it very well. Uh, the fact that the Army was involved in making that as uh, seamless as possible was a little, little odd, but it made sense. They have the most experience in doing that. Uh, I think I mentioned in the... Uh, in the live videos there that it was like AFES. It was like the indoctrination, the Armed Forces Entrance and Examination Station that you go through to when you're first going into the military. It was very similar to that. and uh, but, uh, but people were a little bit more congenial than they were when I was going through my AFES indoctrination. Uh, but the shot was... I didn't feel it. I literally didn't feel that it was at all. I did. I never felt the needle in my arm. I, I had to watch the video to confirm to myself that it had actually happened because I felt nothing. It was quite bizarre. So all my anxiety level that was way up there about getting a shot is completely gone. Um, I just, I, I really encourage you to Get yourself in line. Go get it done as soon as you can. 
uh, get yourself on the waiting list. I did it through the Department of Health, and it was it was pretty quick and pretty seamless. And the whole process has been excellent. I uh, I have to give kudos to those uh, that organize. The Biden administration on this rollout has done an exceptionally good job. Um, on a, whether that's a political statement or not, it's a statement of fact. Great job. Um, and the, the vaccines are getting out to the people. People are getting vaccinated in numbers that we never imagined could happen this quickly. And kudos to them. They've done a fantastic job. Be part of it. Uh, this, is the, this is the start of a solution to a really serious problem uh, that's global. And uh, be part of it. Be part of the solution. Get, get in line. All right. Uh, if you liked the video, subscribe, like the video, uh, like the podcast, tell somebody, share it uh, on your Facebook page. Let somebody know about this. Let's grow the channel. So until the next time we meet on Progressively Older, I'll see you.